Hi, this is Josh from Brown Dog Gadgets. Today we're going to show you how to use conductive paint to control sound effects coming out of an Arduino. The parts we'll be using to make this project are some alligator clips, we'll be using a 460 ohm resistor, a screw terminal plug that resistor into, a piezo speaker for sound output, a programmable touchboard from us at crazycircuits.com, although any Arduino will work, some bare conductive conductive paint. This is a graphite based paint which makes for a great variable resistor. A Lego base plate to put our crazy circuits parts onto. Some conductive nylon tape to hook everything together. And we're going to use some laser cut wood we had around just to put everything together on. Although a piece of cardboard or paper would also work just fine. Typically in a project like this you'd end up using a standard variable resistor. Something just like this. The same kind of thing you'd find in an old speaker. Turn it one way, resistance goes up. Turn it the other way, resistance goes down. However, that's not a whole lot of fun. Instead, we can make our own by using a screw terminal and a resistor, hook everything together with conductive tape, and for the variable part of it, we'll be using some bare conductive paint. Bare conductive paint is a graphite-based paint. And the nice part about it is, the longer you make your line of paint, the more resistance you'll get. So this works perfect for an interactive variable resistor project, such as one we're doing here. The first thing you'll want to do is to plug the resistor into the screw terminal. Screw it down and you're done. We're using a 460 ohm resistor, however, feel free to use larger or smaller resistors to see what kind of results you get. Something around 400 to 500 is probably best for this project though. As the brains of this project, we'll be using a Crazy Circuits touchboard. Now it is uh, Lego or brick compatible, however the Lego holes don't go all the way through the board. So we'll be using some red 1x6 and 1x8 Lego pieces to make a bit of a platform for it. You can do this exact same activity using a regular Arduino or any Arduino compatible circuit board. Uh, but we like using our Crazy Circuits parts because we like doing our things on a nice Lego grid. We put our project in the bottom left corner, which gives us a lot of space on the top right to add more components later on. The first part we'll be attaching is our piezo speaker. We have to go from pin 16 on our touchboard to the piezo speaker, and then from ground on the other side to the piezo speaker. The best way to handle this is just to put the piezo speaker down near pin 16, and then run conductive tape. Start by applying tape to the Lego stud that is under pin 16. Run it to where the piezo speaker is and then cut off excessive tape. We're going to use a small screwdriver just to push the tape down and make things look nicer, but uh, you don't really need to do that. Your fingernail would work just fine. Do the same thing by going from ground to the ground of the piezo speaker. Doesn't matter which way the piezo speaker is put down, it will work just fine either way if you have it backwards. You want to put your resistor screw terminal on the top right corner with a bit of space around it. What we're going to eventually do is run tape from pin 14 to the resistor, as well as from the 5 volt voltage known as VIN on our board, also to the resistor board, and then go from ground to one of our alligator clips. Nothing too crazy, just conductive tape on Lego again. Start by running a piece of conductive tape from pin 14 do a right angle turn, and then end at the white side of the resistor screw terminal. Cut off excess tape and pressure fit down to make sure everything connects. Using the same process, run tape from the VIN pin on your touchboard all the way to the colored side of our screw terminal. Using some leftover tape, Run it from the other stud that's under your white side of your screw terminal, off the end of your board. Fold over an edge to give yourself a double-sided area, and leave it there. That'll be for the alligator clip. The easiest way to go from ground to off of your LEGO base plate is to just go under that line of tape that's coming off pin 14. Just thread a new piece of tape underneath the existing line of tape and just press it down with a screwdriver or a pencil or whatever to make sure it's not making contact with the line above. Do a right angle turn all the way over to the ground hole and then run it off the edge and fold over the edge again like you did with the last piece. Not tough, just slightly annoying and once it's done you should be good to go. 
push on your screw terminal as well as your touch board. Make sure all the contacts are nice and secure and that nothing is kind of flailing all over the place. The last thing you want to do is have a piece of tape touching a pin it shouldn't be touching. You'll need to upload code to the touch board or your Arduino board to make something happen. We have two different sets of code you can use. One does alternating sounds and one does straight tones. You can find links to both of the sets of code in the description below or on our website crazycircuits.com. To test out your code, take one of your alligator clips and then connect it to both sides of tape. If it works, great. If it doesn't, uh, check your upload again. We're going to use this piece of wood to put our paint on. First, we want to take a large strip of conductive tape and just put it like down halfway to the middle, have it come off the edge, and then fold it around onto the back side. This is what your alligator clip is going to hook up to from your board. The last thing to do is just add conductive paint. Take some paint on a paintbrush and apply it to your painting surface. The longer the line you can make, the better your sound effects will end up being. Or I should say the more variation on your sound effects you'll end up getting. Just paint a bunch on and then let it dry. Bare conductive paint is kind of towards the puffy paint side of paint. It's thick. Try to put on a thin layer, but thick layer. It's a weird middle ground. Just make sure you're spreading it out fairly evenly, otherwise it'll take a long time to dry. What effect the project just takes a while to dry. Keep in mind that bare conductive paint is water soluble, which is great if you get it on your fingers because it comes off really easily, but also really annoying if you have sweaty fingers or slightly wet fingers for any reason. To protect your paint, you might want to take a clear coat of spray paint over the top of it. We just used some Rust-Oleum paint we got from the local Home Depot and gave it all a once-over. This shouldn't affect your conductivity of it or your interacting with the other alligator clip, but it will protect it if you want to use this project with children or want to put it on a wall or some other fun surface. We've done that to a couple of projects and they've lasted months if not years. Once your paint is dry, hook up one alligator clip to the conductive tape on your painting surface and use the other alligator clip as a probe to move along there. The further away you are from the beginning of your paint line, the more resistance there is, and our code notices that and it changes the sound effects accordingly. The really cool thing about this project is you can apply this exact same process to any Arduino project that uses a variable resistor. This can be used to control a servo or the blink of an LED. This makes everything a lot more interactive, a lot more hands-on, a lot more kid-friendly especially. But it's just a fun way of interacting with electronics in a very tactile medium. For this project, we're using Crazy Circuits parts because we love doing things in a LEGO-based environment, but you can do the exact same thing on a regular breadboard with standard components and a standard off-the-shelf Arduino. For a full step-by-step -step picture write-up, as well as a diagram and a link to all the code, visit our website at crazycircuits.com. We'd love to hear your comments or see your builds, and please, please post those on our web forum. Otherwise, ask questions in the comments below or shoot us an email. We hope you enjoyed this project and make some really fun sound effects with conductive paint. Have a good day and uh, happy building!